it's Liz. Um, we're in New Orleans um, in the French Quarter, staying at the Homewood Suites by Hilton, which is very non-brand loyal of me because we always go to Wyndham Hotels because I get rewards points. <laughs> um, but it's a beautiful hotel room and we've had a beautiful day today. Um, I want to talk about Preservation Hall, which we had a wonderful time. We saw the Preservation Hall Legacy Band, which was a bunch of old dudes, and they were incredible. Um, it was a five-piece band with a trumpet, clarinet, the stand-up double bass, piano, and drums. And um, if you're watching this, you probably already know I have problems with my memory, and I don't remember anything past about two weeks. And I, there's this thing that I've been trying to do when I travel because it seems really counterintuitive for a person like me with memory issues like I have to travel because traveling is about creating memories and I'm not. I'm having fun in the moment, but I'm not gonna remember this three weeks from now. Um, and so I've made a special effort to just be in the moment with things that we've explored and things that we've experienced. And that was my time today at Preservation Hall that I tried to be as much in the moment as I could because I knew if I'm not gonna remember it later, then what I have to do is take in as much as I can and take in the smells and the sights and the sounds. And so I wanna tell you that the piano at this place was incredible and I lived for a couple of minutes in that piano and there were, I, I'm not a musician, but there are little um, mallets that pound on the strings when he strikes the keys and I was watching him and um, the hairs on his head and his flittery fingers going over the keys and it was just an incredible place to be in, an incredible time to be in and the trumpet player had a hat that he put over the end of his trumpet. It was a, it was a gag, it was fantastic. I, and he had the, the bell that you used to mute it and the, the clarinet player played key notes so high that I didn't know a clarinet could do that. And the drummer had this bass drum, this great big bass drum that said Preservation Hall on it and I wanted it to say Legacy Band because I was so excited to be here with these people. And the double bass was larger than I am. And I, each of the members of the band had the opportunity to play a solo and even the double bass player, and he was going boom, 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 boom on the strings. And as all of this was happening, there were people sitting on these wooden benches, like old school, like, like an old timey school literally would have wooden benches. And we were sitting on these wooden benches and you could feel the vibrations in the floor and you could see there were these posters on the wall of these old timey jazz musicians and with their instruments, you could see the scroll of a double bass in the picture where you could see the face of this person and who was definitely somebody important. I have no idea who they were. And the people behind us were bopping along to the music and the people to the side of us were swaying as they listened. And everything that happened in that moment, I know I'm not gonna remember it, I know that. But I have this video and I can come back to this video and sit down and watch it and say, all of that happened. That was a place that I was. That was something that I experienced. And in that moment, it'll be real again to me. So that's what I wanted to share with you tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys.